terms of the professional market, it's not something we do so much anymore because there's a lot of complications with it in terms of we have so many electronics in our home now. However, the average person doesn't have access to the same components and materials that we have. So steam is still very effective. The adult bed bug only needs about 118 degrees for complete lethality in a relatively short period of time. And bed bug eggs is 122 degrees. Steam sublimates from water at 212, so you're automatically way over the killing point. Steam will pretty much kill any insect at that temperature. So in terms of applying it effectively, the things to consider are what will insulate the insect from having the steam directly applied to it. So if you have clothing that you can you know, use a steamer wand on and you just slowly drag it across like you would just normally steam your clothing, sufficient. If you have certain pieces of furniture that can handle the moisture and the temperature, slowly going over the flat planes and especially the crevices and areas where there's bolts and screws because that's where bed bugs would hide. If you can steam those areas safely and effectively, then that'll work. Minimum amount of time, only a couple of seconds are needed to directly apply the steam. Where it gets trickier is if you have things like a lazy boy or an upholstered couch, it's going to be very difficult to get back into the cushions. If the cushions come off and you can sort of separate the areas and get the steam in, or you need a third hand, so someone who can hold the steam one for you, slowly and evenly it'll work. But steam gets tricky whenever you have deep crevices that the steam can't get into. And that's when you want to maybe fall back on using some of the traps that mimic the human body. Those will help to draw bed bugs out from those areas. But yeah, steam directly applied slowly and evenly to pretty much any surface that can have steam applied to it. Steam will be effective in those matters.